Nigeria is a transit and destination country for human trafficking, according to a 2021 U.S. State Department report. The country has among the highest number of trafficking victims anywhere in the world. The International Organization for Migration says there were at least 1.4 million victims of human trafficking in Nigeria last year. The present federal government is uh, absolutely committed to fighting the scourge of human trafficking in Nigeria because they know the implication on the, uh, uh, on the image of the country. In April, Nigeria launched a national action plan against human trafficking. It's a five-year effort. A welcome step, says the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, known as NAPTIP. The whole essence of the National Action Plan on Human Trafficking is to ensure that uh, there is a strong coordination, implementation and uh, evaluation mechanism in uh, combating the uh, scourge of human trafficking in Nigeria. The plan details five key areas. It also provides for the time frame and budget for each step, with a tentative budget of around $38 billion. Having an action plan first has been a key uh, achievement. Then funding will come. Now at least we have a document. So even if somebody wants to come and assist you, it knows that you have a document and you are ready, you are prepared to carry out something. Securing convictions for traffickers or getting justice for victims is often a difficult task in court and takes time. The plan would change that by getting lawmakers to amend the country's laws and update judges about human trafficking offenses and emerging trends. It also would establish special tax forces nationwide. I will ensure that the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in each of the states is made the chairman of the state tax force on human trafficking with the NAPTIP Zona Commander as a co-chair. The whole essence of this is that uh, as Attorney General, in the state, being the chairman of the state task force, it will be easy for him or her to advise the government of that state from legal perspective and also to advise the government of the state on the imperative of supporting this venture. Victims of trafficking are often sheltered in places where they undergo rehabilitation and learning life skills before they are reintegrated into society. There are 10 of these shelters across the country. Going by the National Action Plan, Nigerian officials want to set up close to 30 more in the next five years. The shelters are central to the work of NAPTIB and other civil society organizations involved in anti-trafficking activities. Now, before they leave the shelter, victims are often provided with some funding to enable them set up a small enterprise and start life all over again. Mother of two, Cecilia Idowu is one of the beneficiaries of the shelter initiative. After being rescued from traffickers, she was taken to a shelter where she was rehabilitated and given some funding to start up a small enterprise. And she's doing well. Nigeria is banking on the National Action Plan to battle human trafficking. Despite securing more than 525 convictions so far since it was set up in 2003, NAPTIP still has a long way to go. DG Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos. Nigeria.